Hey everyone, it's Jeff Freena with PocketNow.com, and it's time for a test. In this video of our software overview part 2, we're going to pit the Samsung Transform against its big brother, the Samsung Epic 4G. We're going to run a browser test, check out YouTube, look at the screens, the overall brightness, that sort of thing. So, let's get started. And we're back and actually jumping directly into the YouTube test. One thing to notice here is actually the keyboard difference between the Samsung Transform and the Samsung Epic 4G, or lack thereof. There's actually no difference in the keyboard at all besides some of the size, simply because of the 3.5 inch screen that the Samsung Transform has. Now we've actually already typed in the Pocket Now video so we can pull up the channel. So we're going to do that. Now these are on the same exact Wi-Fi network with nothing running in the background. These are actually fresh boots on both of these. So it definitely pulled up faster uh, on the Samsung Epic 4G. Now we're going to actually pull up the top video, which is a Windows Phone 7 comparison video. I'll turn these side by side. Now, there was a difference. I wouldn't say it was a deal breaker difference, uh, but that definitely showcases the different processor that the Epic 4G has. Once again, though, the Transform is an 800 megahertz processor, which is by no means last generation or left in the dust. One great element about the Samsung Transform is that it actually does not include the Samsung TouchWiz UI. Now, if you've used TouchWiz in the past, it's either you like it or you hate it. There's no in the middle with this. Now, as you see here, the Epic 4G has TouchWiz, so if you actually go to the Applications menu, it actually will scroll left and right. And it's very, people call it kitty looking. It's very um, almost iPhone-esque in terms of the actual icons, as you see here. Now, the home screen does give you your seven different home screens, as you see here, left and right. The ball will actually change at the top. So you have the seven home screens here. Now, the Samsung Transform does not have the Samsung TouchWiz UI. It actually uses the Sprint ID. So it's not going to give you that iPhone-esque childlike appearance. As you bring up the typical menu drawer, it actually looks very similar to Froyo. Of course, it's not. This is Android 2.1, but it does look similar. So you'll have your typical appearance here of your normal Android apps and you will have the five home screens, one being in the middle, two to your right, and then two to your left if you so choose to use those. Now one of the last software comparisons we're gonna do between the Samsung Transform and the Epic 4G is going to be a browser test. So we're actually gonna bring up pocketnow.com. This is of course something we like to do a lot. This will showcase the speed of the processor when it's actually able to load a desktop version of a website. So we already have them both queued up. Now, as you'll see, the Epic 4G did load it first. It's actually not fully loaded yet. It's actually still rendering. Now, the transform hangs a little bit here. There we go. So, if actually, if you look at these two status bars, they were actually almost identical where they, where they sat, uh, but it has to load the actual banner ad and that sort of thing. And that's where really what's loading right now in the Samsung transform, but you, you can still scroll here. So it's not going to be a bad experience there at all. Once again, it's still an 800 megahertz processor, but it's still a fast processor. It's by no means slow. So it does somewhat keep up with the Epic 4G. All right, so now we've, lo we've loaded the full website. We can actually pinch to zoom here. So we'll actually pick this up and we'll show you how, how smooth that is or not smooth, depends on your personal opinion. So it's not going to be smooth like butter 100%. However, it's very, very easy to still browse. We can actually pick this article here. And as you'll see, it's actually going to open up the page for us. So that has been a quick look at the browser on the Samsung Transform. The next and final video in this series will actually be our final thoughts on the Samsung Transform. So be sure to stay tuned for the final review. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment. Thanks for watching, everyone.